What's going on guys? I've got here a 2013 F-150 and I'm using this car to give you some troubleshooting steps regarding the cooling fans. I'm gonna show you the location of the different cooling fan fuses and relays. But right off the bat, I wanna go ahead and mention one of the first things I like to do when troubleshooting the cooling fans is just go and check and see if I can turn the fan blades by hand. If the fan blades won't spin by hand, that's a pretty good indication that the motor is probably seized and I should just go ahead and plan on replacing it. Now, another troubleshooting step that you can do beyond that is you can actually whack the back of the fans with a blunt object. Sometimes a bad connection will form. And uh, just by whacking on the back of the fans, if you can get them going again by doing that, then you know that the fan is on its way out. Now, moving on to the relays and the fuses, they're behind this cover here, which we remove by pushing in on the tabs on either side and lifting up. So I'm first gonna review the fuses. This 10 amp fuse right here is very important. The power from this fuse does not go directly to the fan motors, but it does go to the three cooling fan relays that are necessary for the fans to come on. We've also got three larger J case fuses here, number 12, number 15, as well as 63. And you can look down through the top of these fuses to see if they're blown. And if you need to remove it, you can use some needle nose pliers. And just a heads up, it's not uncommon for the top of the fuse to break off when you attempt to remove it. Now let's go over the roll of these fuses. So the first one, 12. Power from this fuse is sent to the low speed cooling fan relay. When this relay engages, it sends power to both cooling fan one on the driver's side and cooling fan two on the passenger side. So when this relay triggers, power goes from here to the cooling fan on this side, then that power comes out and it goes through 63. If you 63 then carries the power into this fan here. So we've got our cooling fan low speed. There's also the cooling fan control relay and the cooling fan high speed relay. Now, all three of these relays are controlled by the powertrain control module. The low speed relay is independently controlled, whereas the high speed and the cooling fan relay, those come on together. When these two relays come on together, what happens is fuse 15 sends power directly to cooling fan two, and the ground from cooling fan two is set to straight ground through the cooling fan relay. And when that occurs, the low speed relay will only send power to this fan motor. Now let me give you a quick troubleshooting step. Of course we can remove relays and swap them around. What we can also do with the low speed fan relay disconnected, we can touch these two contacts together. Doing this should result in both of our cooling fans powering on. So that's a quick and easy way to see if you've got good continuity and if the fans are able to work. So yeah, I hope this information has been a good starting point for you in troubleshooting. Just to recap, we've got three relays, cooling fan low, the cooling fan control, which controls the ground circuit of cooling fan number two, and then we've got our high speed relay here, and we've got fuses 12, 15, 63 and there's also this 10 amp fuse which sends power for the relays to engage So yeah, let me know if you guys have any questions